Looking fly, Abby, looking fly. Now we head into the gym. Let's go. Later. What is Gucci Squad? So I just want to pop on pop in here really quick um and just you know share with you guys that like this morning was sure something for me like i did not feel good it started yesterday after i left my parents house which by the way i had a lot of fun over there okay but i just felt down and this morning was pretty awful for me <laughs> i kept moving though i kept moving um and i somehow stumbled upon a pete uh what's his last name pete something like that's dating um kim kardashian um one of his like videos on like motivation or something and the title was called if you if you didn't respect pete listen to this or something like that and i guess like it was just like him saying how when he was young he was like bullied and he still deals with you know ptsd regarding all that trauma um i guess in high school he was uh what is it called uh, bullied and the bullies did not care that his dad died and it was just a lot for him and it was very confusing you know and he was open on you know saying that he's depressed and he passes through those like depression states and it gets to a point where like i guess he knows what to do to get himself himself out but it kind of seems that like he um like like depression is part of his life and he's dealing with it and he knows what to do um but i just kind of like resonated with him because i feel like there's so many things that i am grateful for right um but i still like sometimes wake up and i don't feel good you know but i know what to do like you go out for a walk and take it all the time you know hydrate exercise and you know all that good stuff but i really admire the fact that he was like being honest and i was able to see him in a different perspective you know like yeah he's like that funny guy but he you know goes through stuff too and he's very open with it and you know i've always been open with you guys um you know because i can obviously hide all that stuff but i choose not to because i'm a normal human being and we all go through that stuff you know and just know that you are not your thoughts okay you're an observer of your thoughts and just choose the right thinking and i know it's challenging because i've been there but with the time you'll you know become your thoughts um so just be intentionally you know who you want to be but anyways i love you guys toodles are you serious all right we gotta go back oh <laughs> i have to go back Ling Ling, guys, look at Ling Ling. Oh my god. Hey, we gotta go back. Why? What happened? Because I bought the full gram and they gave me a half gram. Ooh, I know I saw it. I was like, that's a little bit. Guys, this is my Rob Ryder, Athena. She is so adorable and she likes when I give her love. So cute. She's so beautiful. I love her so much. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. To the bra wider, huh? I love you. A few moments later. All right, fam. So we are here outside of Lemonade. Um, we're going to do Uber Eats in a little bit. Nevertheless, I wanted to pop in here really quick because just like last time, like, you know, when I ever I told you guys I don't feel good, um, I've told you guys this before, I observe my thoughts, right? And and I don't get attached to them. I just observe them. I don't fight them just because I want to know what's going on, right? Because whatever thoughts are coming up when I don't feel good, they're there to tell me something, right? It's the story that I'm telling um, myself inside is what I'm experiencing. And obviously, if I don't feel good, it's because... The narrative that I'm telling myself mentally does, you know, it just is not what I want, right? And so, a couple of things that came up was that, like, I guess I'm not satisfied 
uh, I'm not satisfied where I am in life right now. Um, and it's not that I'm not satisfied, it's just I'm experiencing, I guess, things that I didn't think that I was gonna experience at the age of 33. You know, by age 33, like, your girl imagined herself like super wealthy, super rich, living the life of her dreams, you know, um, traveling the world, just doing what it is that I truly wanna do. And my current reality, I'm not experiencing that, right? I currently live in an apartment. We have this nice house, or this nice house, we have this nice car. Nevertheless, like, you know, you guys have seen my other, one of my other, like, videos, like, for Uber Eats, we're using, like, this, like, little Honda that has, like, this little noise <laughs> that bothers me. We have to go fix that still. Um, but obviously, because my current reality is not matching what I was expecting, I'm kind of having a hard time. And nevertheless, I took time today to um, get a piece of white paper and I just put myself in the middle and just wrote down what it is that I want because I feel like maybe me not being specific on what it is that I want from life, life is just giving me whatever I'm, you know, interacting at in the everyday basis, right? And by me writing it down, knowing exactly what I want, and I literally put it on the side of my desk. That way it's there, I know what I want and I can just focus on that, okay? So I am, you know, changing things up before I was a victim of my feelings and now I'm, I'm, I am aware that it's there to show me something or, you know, um, teach me something. But anyways, I just wanna share that with you guys. If you guys are not feeling good, you know, ask why, like what's going on there and do something about it, you know? But anyways, all right fam so i have a little quick question for you guys when you guys like you know go pick up for those that are uber eats drivers when you guys go pick up an order and they take a long time you know you can rate, you can rate the restaurant and put like, you know, long way. do you put long way and have you ever like changed your mind if they're super nice to you or do you still like rate them and and, and put there that they took too long even if they're super nice to you let me know in the comments down below, okay? Just say. Hey, tail. <laughs> That's so cool. Dun, dun. Look at these beautiful cheesecakes, fam. I've been craving one for a while, so we are about to grow. Which one should we get? Comment down below your favorite cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory, fam. Quieres un panecito, mami? Quieres un pan? Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Over here. Which one do you want? Get one. Which one do you want? Really? <laughs> Look at the savage over here. No te gustó? Maybe this one. You like this mm -hmm. one better. Okay, here. Have a mama your tablet? Oh my god, it feels so good to have my phone again. Like all for me. Mama, look! Gorgeous. Yes, that's your bottle. Your grandma gave that to you. For Christmas and for... Look, mommy, look! Your tablet. Your tablet is here. Your tablet, mommy. <laughs> What's up, Mama? What's up? Your tablet, pajarita? Yay, we got a coin activated though. Not only that, but look what else does she get. She's oh. gonna get potty train. Coming Grandma soon. Elvira. Grandma Elvira gave her $100, so we got her the bottles and we got her this. And we also got her this. Thank you, Grandma Elvira. I'm sorry, the bottles. We also got these bottles. Thank you, Grandma Barbara. Ma'am, Athena peed. She's never peed. No, has she peed in this house before, babe? No. Who did this? Who did that, Athena? Huh? Who Who's taking that? a pee-pee inside the house? Huh? We're watching you. We're looking at you through the cameras. 
Dun, dun, dun. Not anymore, babe. This one has. Sam, if there's no Athena tomorrow, do not be surprised. I'm just kidding. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. Come here, come here, come give me some love. Lay down. You know, give me some love. Oh my girl. Oh my girl. Oh my girl. Oh my girl. I love you so much. You make me so happy. <laughs> One eternity later. Mm, you're so gorgeous. Mm. Hey, come on. Come on, babe. You see what's up? Eddie's just jelly, guys. Eddie's just jelly, huh, Mama? Dun, dun. Come on. Dun, dun, dun. Really? Who gave you those, mommy? Uncle Andrew gave Abby those little dinosaurs for her birthday. And she loves it so much, huh, mommy? She loves it so much. Fam, today we got $400, huh, babe, from Uber? Well, yeah. For the Tuesday. What well, proposition is that? Do you know what it's called? Something for Prop hair. Too. Prop what? It's Prop 22. Yep, let's go. Let's go. But what is Gucci fam? So today is Tuesday, June 14th, 7.45 p.m. PST fam. And I just came to the dollar store to get myself some extra gum and eyelashes. Because as you guys can see, I haven't been having my eyelashes because I kind of ran out. I told you guys yesterday, but um, I just did not feel good, okay? Today, I did kind of have a little episode after we went to, um, um, where we go to, um, not Olive Garden, but Cheesecake Factory. I had a little episode, but I was able to, like, get myself out. Well, thanks to Eddie, because he, you know, he kind of told me, AJ, like, snap out of it, you know? Um, it took me time, but I did it. Mmm. So we're actually gonna go do Uber. Um, and nevertheless, I have to like run a few errands. I have to go return the old tablet, the one that my daughter, you know, got all wet and stuff. So they ended up uh, sending us this other tablet, right? And apparently, I guess it was like, what is it called? Like it was under someone else's name. So we couldn't, you know, activate it. So I had to return that one and then they had to receive it for them to return this other one. But finally today I activated my daughter's tablet and she has her tablet. That way I have my phone, Eddie has his phone and then we have the working phone, okay? But anyways guys, um, I'm not too sure what I have um, like recorded so far just because I kind of did miss a whole week of uploading but you know, I, I am, I'm catching up. Nevertheless, it kind of sucks because now, like, the dates are, like, a little bit more further down. Nevertheless, we are, you know, figuring this thing out. Okay, fam? Remember, consistency is key. You want to grow in whatever it is you want to grow, you got to be consistent. All right, fam? And even if you fail, you fall, keep going. Anyways, let's go to the post office. You can get in the wrong relationships or you can do things prematurely, get yourself off track. Well, this is what I know. Every perceived mistake can be an opportunity to know better and do better. Um, so this is our Uber Eats car that we use. Okay, the one with the noise. Yeah. This is her. Okay. She cute, but she does need a little work. Okay. And that's always a big trick. I think for me the key is setting really big goals. And uh, you know, with YouTube, I think we've had tremendous leadership, uh, both with the founders and now with Seller, who's been running it. I mean, I think they've all had a vision, you know, to really improve people's entertainment, improve access to entertainment, build a community. Picture in my head. Where I was. All right, fam. So our first order drop off. All right, fam. Five. New experience. Let's go. Avalos fam, he's like so ha hands on with um 
Abigail, like, I'm very, like, grateful for that, okay? Like, he's very hands-on, um, from changing diapers to, like, helping me, like, bathe her, um, you know, playing with her, uh, picking up after her, <laughs> feeding her, cutting her nails, like, he's really hands-on, and I'm very grateful for that, you know? Alright, fam, so this audiobook here is something. I love it. Bam, look, I hurt myself with the other order. When I grabbed it, it had like a staple. Look at that. Be careful, fam. <laughs> so we're here at McDonald's and my security. My gorgeous card. Um, we made it to this little shopping center. I found my Marilyn Monroe um, frame there. And I'm actually going to the same pizza place. Let's go. Or she found me. Just saying. Alright fam, so we have two orders. So sometimes you can get two orders. At the same time. Yee, ha mama. Yeah. Look fam, so we're here in Beverly Hills. And they're uh, shooting a scene over there. Apparently, the cars don't actually drive when they're pretending to drive. They're actually just pushing the car. Look. <gasps> Exposed. All right, fam. Look at this entrance. How cute it is. That's so cute. This is definitely an uh, inspiration, fam. Just saying. Do -do -do. Watch your step, girls. 